On occasion, I've had Rod Hembry with us here on Huntley Prime, and we have him back, but this time we have not his better half, but his daughter, who is just as involved in television as he is. So we have both Rod and Corey. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. It's good now, to be here. Now, 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 your dad, of course, is, is a fount of wisdom, as you know. <laughs> <laughs> but here you are, you're the next generation of mm -hmm. uh, communicators. In fact, you're a third generation communicator mm -hmm. if you go back to your dad, Ron Hembry, or That's your right. gran grandfather, Ron, Ron Hembry, right? Uh, what is it that you are doing with your dad in Christian television? Um, right now, my focus is on uh, biblical history and archaeology. So it's about trying to uh, engage the reader of the Bible into the ancient cultures so that it will help us understand more about who God is and more about what exactly he was trying to say in the context of when he was saying it. Now, archaeology is a pretty heavy topic. It is. Yeah. Are you, are you studying archaeology yourself? Yes. I, I've been studying it for about three, four years now. Yeah. So. Have you been on a dig yet? I have not yet been on a dig, no. That's, I've been to Israel several times, but not on a dig specifically. Well, Rod, so. you and I have been to Israel together on yes. more than one occasion. Mm -hmm. I mean, surely you, you've got some clout over there. We're working on it. Actually, we, we're, actually, we're just trying to set the timing up properly. We almost had a dig set up in Egypt, or, uh, Ethiopia, close. but uh, it was close. But it, these things are highly political as well. well of course. Yeah. And the kind of dig that I would like Corey to go on is not a regulated one but an honest to goodness, uh, not a tour dig, right. but a real, a real a, the one. real deal. And, and, and what will you do? Will you, will you bring cameras there and, and, and uh, almost like reality TV or how will you handle it? Well, I, we, we would like to bring cameras, but we don't want to impede in any way right. what really happens. So our cameras will be very low profile and will be subjective in what we take and what we don't take. Because uh, archaeology is also very political. And so the archaeologists will be timid if, if they know they're being taped, and so there'll be some things we can't exactly say. Now, Corey, you're uh, into broadcasting big time, mm -hmm. and all Quick Study is doing, and, and uh, Stream TV, and everything your father's doing, you're involved in one way or another. Uh, what's the biggest point of difference between you and your dad? Do you ever have an argument or a discussion <laughs> about how he does things and you think it should be done in a different way because of relevance to your generation? Yes, all the time. Uh, okay. All the time. Well, what, what would be, uh, give me an example. Um, well, one of the biggest things that we debate all the time is actually our theology yes. and our standpoint on our theology. Often we agree on uh, the, the main point of what we're trying to talk about, but we disagree in how we approach the topic. So we'll agree on a characteristic of God, but he'll go at it from a more... Uh, a, a more straight on, tough guy approach, and, and I'm a little bit more gentle uh, in some ways, not, not in all ways, but it's in our approach of the theology and how we would present it to the audience. That's now, now, is that a male-female thing or is that a generational thing? I think it's a little bit of both. Yeah. Sometimes it's male, female, but um, my generation tends to be uh, more more gentle. I think we want to include everyone, which you can't always do, obviously, right? right? You can't always be be tolerant. I don't like that word, but uh, there we're we're a little bit more accepting, I think, and a little bit more gentle than than his generation. So yeah, now, for, for <laughs> fairness, Rod, what's your side of this? Well, no, I, th I think she's absolutely correct. I think my approach to things, I'm very aggressive. And no. so, I mean, I know this is hard. I mean, this would be a shock, okay? Yeah. But I'm very aggressive. And, and uh, when I was doing my dissertation yeah. at, at the school, Phoenix University of Theology, uh, Dr. Drake sat down after I did it, uh, presented it, and he said, well, Rod, one thing's for sure. We know you really believe what you just said. <laughs> and uh, I, I tend to be very uh, strong that way. And Corey is excellent because Corey and we, Jim, we have very robust conversations, not just between us, but with my sons mm -hmm. uh, and my wife. We believe in temple teaching where you go to the temple and debate to pull together because it's important. Well, you know, when I lived in Israel, I'd, I'd walk by uh, the uh, yeshivas, that's uh, Bible college, and it sounded like there was a riot going on inside. <laughs> yes. Because you, you, cannot, you cannot study the scripture in Jewish context without having someone with you. So you have, you have two people and they're just arguing vehemently. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, Jim, the thing is, <laughs> unity is not the absence of conflict, no. but it's the presence of purpose. Right. So there will be conflict. Conflict is not bad. 
con if it's done demeaning, you don't want to demean no. anybody. But conflict is good. So unity is not the absence of conflict, it's the presence of purpose. So you don't get intimidated when you're having this conflict with your dad? Oh, not at all, no. No, I, I love it. I, I love this because it's what sharpens us, right? It what, I, I don't want to have uh, a point of view that isn't completely fleshed out. So he'll think of things that I never would have thought of because we have such different personalities and that's why it's so important to debate the issues because someone else will have a different point of view and you have to be open to hearing that point of view but at the same time be intelligent enough to to uh, to see where they've gone wrong or, or see where you've gone wrong right. to be able to debate it many so. hours at the dinner table many, it's awesome many. it's awesome who's who's right most often <laughs> god god always god. good answer, uh, yeah, good answer. Hey, yeah i'm trying to help you there. just popping out got about a minute left corey uh do you do any uh kind of generation specific television um i'm i try to uh make it as broad as possible but i'm i'm young so i often i often attract more of a younger audience but i know there's quite a few viewers who are older as well that appreciate it so uh doing a new show now called cultures and creeds and that's aimed uh, uh Hopefully, I want it to be broad, but it probably in around the 20, 30, 40 years. Do you want to work with your dad forever, or do you want to move out on your own at some point? Um, you know what? I'm, I'm quite comfortable uh, in, in this arrangement. I think that God sometimes appoints families to, to ministries, and, and our ministry has really become a family ministry, and, and I don't see leaving anytime soon. Any chance a non hembry will break into this uh, uh, group of uh, broadcasters? God calls anybody and everybody, mm -hmm. but whoever he calls better know the scripture, <laughs> be able to defend it, and be strong to present it. Sounds to me like a dinner table uh, <laughs> talk, right? Has he kind of pounded this into you over the years? You got, you got to know how to defend it, got to, you know, all of this stuff? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There's no flimsy arguments in our family. We, it doesn't stand up. I told up. him, I said, if you're going to present it, you better defend it. You better mm -hmm. be able to defend it. And I, I play devil's advocate, and I, po I do this with my son. He's into doing the creation presentations. I do it with my son as well. Yeah. But it's a two-way street. Who does it with you? They do. We do. And they're good we at do. it. And my wife, oh my goodness. Really? Man, don't mess with my wife. No. Don't mess with Janice. No, no. I, I knew her when she was just a little kid, and uh, you exactly. didn't mess with her then either. <laughs> Rod and Corey Hemby, pleasure to have you. And give us a website www.biblediscoverytv.com or www.thestreamtv.com. There you go. Log on and check them out. Thanks for coming our way. Thank you.